Hello everybody, Ministrum here, welcome back to Stellaris, the United Nations of Earth. In the last episode, we worked on getting our fleets consolidated, repaired, upgraded, got that all taken care of, as well as just continuing to improve our planets as possible. We need to do a little bit more of that, as always. And yeah, just general management of the realm, of our space, and... Yeah, pretty much just getting by as we work on the fleet and prepare for our eventual absorption of the Commonwealth of Man, which is coming up here soon, I'm hoping. The main fleet, the home fleet, is repaired and upgraded and pretty much ready to go. We do have a new ship under construction here, so we're going to keep the fleet in the Asquiri system for the time being until that ship is done. And then once it's done... Then we'll begin moving them to the Commonwealth border. Uh, we also are going to need to sort out, you know, some designs for Task Group of Vern and Second Wave. How we want to lay those fleets out. We also need to sort out what we're going to be doing with the Federation fleet. Um, yeah, that should be not too difficult. And, yeah, that's going to be our... You know, our work for the next, maybe, episode or two. We'll see. There's one thing I wanted to go over uh, before getting things going here, and that is that we do need some new leaders. And I do like to kind of give the viewers the opportunity to kind of request, you know, those characters and, you know, submit those requests on the... RP Discord. And what do we need? I believe we're fine for governors. Yeah, we're fine for governors for the moment. Uh, we do need an admiral for the current task group of task group Wyvern. Which we might end up changing that name. We'll see. We need an admiral for the second wave fleet, which again, we'll probably want to change that fleet's name here at some point. We're also gonna need an admiral for the Federation fleet. And we're probably gonna want a proper name for the Federation fleet as well. Uh, we also need a general for this army. And we may even want to expand the army a little bit. So that is my thinking there. All right, so let's go ahead and unpause it. Let's get things moving. I think what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do here is I'm gonna tell these guys to just merge in. Yeah, just merge in. I think it's going to take them like 700 more days before they arrive. I also need to take a look at the fleet manager because it wants to build 22 ships. i got to figure out where those ships are. Technology oh, discovered. here. Destroyer, cruiser... We have a cruiser under construction. There's a bunch there. There's a few there. That's fine. I don't think we can... Construction complete. Yeah, because these haven't been converted yet. So that's why I can't remove them. And then redesign this thing. All right, so we got some new tech. Wormhole stabilization unlocks wormhole travel. Go ahead and grab that because we do have a wormhole here in the Marcab system. And in fact, this, now that I notice this, this probably needs to get some defense stations. I don't know where it goes. 
So what we may have to do is send a science ship out here once we have the tech. And send it through the wormhole and see where it goes. You guys can upgrade. We have the the materials for that. And actually, let me just go ahead and buy a bunch of that, just so that we can we can get everybody upgraded here. Well, no, you can upgrade. Do it. It's these guys that need a ridiculous amount of alloys to upgrade, so, yeah. Alright, so... Ships upgraded. One thing we do know we're going to want to add to this fleet are going to be battleships. Oh, I need to check my designs. I think we did Ships unlock upgraded. new construction complete. Hmm. No, I thought we had new stuff. Or am I currently researching it? Oh, let me remind myself what we're doing. No, we're not researching any new fighters as of yet. Let's go ahead and go into... No, don't leave Federation. Uh, Federation Ship Designer. And it's just that we create a new battleship design that's going to be... Ships upgraded. A carrier. Alright, so for point defense... We use our point defense turbo lasers for mediums. Let's see. We're probably going to want these things to stand off at range. Oh boy. Well, let me pause it. So I want a good long range weapon. 70 range. 60 range. 60 range, 90 range, null void beam. It only really does, like, shield damage. You know, kind of want to have one of those, all told. So it does a... Does it do a bunch more? It does do a bunch more shield damage, even than our ion cannons. Alright, ion cannons have a range of 60. These have a range of 70. I think I'm going to use the prototype Vengeance class mass drivers. And then we're going to use... Are we going with blue turbo lasers? I don't think it really matters what color they are. The red ones are easier to see, I think. So we'll keep the red ones. Alright, and four. Ah. Because these are Federation, we're allowed to use all the tech from all of our allies.
But I think we're going to stick with... Some A-wings and some Y-wings. There we go. Shield capacitors? I think I'd rather have an afterburner, actually. Ship will stay at long 80 range and fire at long range weapons. Well, the only thing we can have that how they can fire at that range is going to be these guys. So I think we are going to want to drop it in to... Well, no, it can stay. It can stand off because it's going to be sending its fighters in. And if something gets too close to it, then then our other weapons can take over. All right. And then we're going to call this the Republic class. Auto upgrade. Save. Done. All right. What's going on here? Orbis Synergies. A declared war on a 689 multi system. Okay, nothing involving us. Or at least nothing I need to worry about. Ships upgraded. Alright, that cruiser is done. Good. Now, you guys can begin flying where you need to be. These guys are like three jumps out. And I'm going to go ahead and tell these guys to start upgrading. And that's going to consume our alloys for the time being. All right, some other things we need to do. We need some housing here. Uh, we have minerals from jobs, happiness, physics research. So, Spaceport under attack. we have some pirates. Hold on. Where? Right outside the soul system. Well, it looks like these ships are going to be getting some target practice. Okay, so now back to here. You guys build some mines. Okay. Now on Earth, what I'm actually going to do here is encourage planetary growth, because I want some more pops here to get some more building slots. Now one thing I we do want to build here is going to be the Psycore. Well, we need to build it somewhere, but you need a, um, hold on, even if I were to go and say, let's replace something that's already here. Still can't build it. We require a planetary capital on the planet. So, we'll only be able to build that once we actually have a planetary capital. The Unuthru Apavo Galactic Imperium is, uh, laid claim to the Larbo system. I don't even know where that is. Station under attack. Right, these guys are just pirates, so I'm not too worried about them. All right, excellent. Uh, return for repairs. We didn't lose any ships. Nice fall back there as well. Oh, hold on. Hold on. 
that needs to be dealt with first. All right, excellent. All right, return for repairs. You didn't even take any damage. That's perfectly fine. All right, these guys are gonna be merging in here soon. And then we're gonna take a look at that. All right, wormhole travel. Let's see, subspace sensors, we'll go ahead and grab those. And I am going to need a ship to explore the wormhole. This one is closest, so you're going to go ahead and do it. Explore the wormhole. Voting for New Galactic Nations assembly issue will take place in two years. The leading nation of the Galactic Nations Assembly has proposed a piece of legislation for legalized purging. This will give a bonus for all nations that their policy for purging set to allowed. Legalizing purging would give all nations allowing at 20% crime on all planets as well as plus 20% government, government ethics attraction. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to vote no on that. Alright, you're in Agri World. You're going to continue to build farms. You're also going to continue to build farms. You are going to build... Alloy foundries. Construction complete. Let's see, you guys. Uh, hold on. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to deal with this, because it's not gonna let me do anything other other than deal with it. Alright, oh, it's that surveyor probe we were looking at at the end of the last episode. Uh, alright, greetings, your assistance is required. In my journeys, I tend to encounter a variety of problems, each more problematic than the other. Some of them are rather complex, and at times require assistance from a planet-side computational network. If we could borrow some of your network power, it would help enormously. Agree, and you'll be rewarded when next we meet. Uh, how much do they want? Surveyor drain a negative 5% on research speed. You know what? That's fine. I can take a 5% hit. Technology discovered. We have unlocked telepathy. We can now make psionic armies. That would be nice be nice to add to our existing army. Food from farmers. Ship upgrade cost down. Ship upkeep down. Uh, 
I think we'll go with that. We're about to unlock habitats. Technology discovered. All right. We can now build orbital habitats. Patrol craft two. Elgate Insight. You know what? Let's finish off that Elgate Insight. Actually, what else was in there? Let me just make sure that I'm not overlooking something that is important. Um, I think we're fine. Elgate Insight. 56 months is a pretty long run, but I need those Elgate Research. Or the, the Elgate Insights. Alright. Uh, let's see. Do we want to continue to patronize these guys? Yes, we have plenty of money. Plenty of energy credits. Oh, oh, one thing I wanted to do, and I almost forgot about it, is begin integrating the Mandate of Druid. get their fleet. So you have unemployment. That's an unemployed worker. Okay, that should be simple enough. Some more generator districts. There we go. Terra Nova's a tech world. More generator districts, and let's Construction see, society completed. research, physics research. Uh, we're going to continue to build research uh, labs here. Ah, we finished the outpost there. Go ahead and get some mining stations. So it looks like that the fleet... Yes, these guys are now fully integrated. And let's take a look. Well, actually, I want them to finish upgrading. Before we do too much else with them. Actually, there is no... It's pretty much all of our minerals, not our alloys, not minerals, are going to upgrading this fleet. But I guess at the very least, what I'm going to do is add some designs. And because this fleet does not have any battleships, right? No, it does not have any battleships. We want those. Alright, so we're going to go with two of the Usurper class and two of the Republic class. That should... The Federation, so it's not, should, not going to affect our Naval capacity, because it's going to go into Federation naval capacity. Our presence in the galaxy has not gone by unnoticed. Hold up. Yeah, got plenty of capacity for those ships. All right, so the Snacklebooper Nationalist Empire made peace. Commonwealth of Man. Which basically the Commonwealth of Man just took a huge chunk out of them. All right, after successfully translating a language, we have established communications with Zura Corp. I bring greetings from high trader Junak Vargas, or Vagras. The undisputed ruler of the Zura Corp. Respect our borders and keep out of our affairs. 
Perhaps our mighty fleets were afraid from visiting your worlds. You're an independent station. I don't think you have a fleet. Okay, well that's gonna slightly complicate matters. And the... what? Okay, the Snacklebooper have joined our alliance, have joined our federation. That's interesting. I was planning on vassalizing them, but I'll take it. Okay, we have a tradition we need to take. Let's see, foreign empire opinion increased by plus 30. Yep, we'll just take that. Uh, electric nominations and campaigns are underway to nominate yourself. Go to the assembly overview. All right, so we need to go in there and nominate ourselves. I forgot to do that last time. Nominate self. There we go. Election campaign. And sure, I'll dump a whole bunch of energy credits into it. Why not? And let's go ahead and actually sell off. A whole bunch of minerals. Alright, now, next thing I need to do is... We need to claim as much of the Commonwealth as we can. Specifically, any inhabited systems. This one, this one, and that one. You, you, and I don't have enough for you. But we'll get around to that. Eventually. The wormhole in the Markab, uh, Markab has been explored. It connects to the Bax system. And that's in the Kelazan Republic. Hmm. Noted. We do have some colonies we could establish down here. Skildari Confederacy decided to end their association status. Okay. So these guys are just inviting people in to the Federation? So we now have the Kili Cooperative. Okay, our federation continues to grow. Excellent. And actually, that's good news, because the Queptilium Empire is another issue we are going to have to deal with. I want the Gargantua system. Snugglebuber want a research agreement? I'll go ahead and say yes. And so do the Kili Cooperative. I will agree to both of those.
upgrading Initiate ships is at 50%. Technology discovered. Buy a bunch of complete. minerals or alloys. I keep calling them minerals. All right, we got subspace sensors. What do we need? Research station output. Colony development speed. Advanced fire control systems. Advanced combat roles. Um, research station output. Want to offset that five percent penalty we're taking? They want a migration treaty. Yeah, that's because they're xenophilic now. Um, yes, and um, these guys, yes. Okay, and they have become even more xenophilic. Very interesting. Build a city district there. Construction complete. All right. We are getting So now they are phonetically xenophilic and no longer authoritarian, even though it says they're still had Hegemonic imperialists. Interesting. Their fleet's pathetic. Well, it has been destroyed. Alright, so I think that with the expansion of the Republic, it is no longer the Galactic Alliance. We are now... The uh, Grand Republic. These guys need to get with the program and go democratic. So, yeah, maybe we'll see if that happens. No longer authoritarian. So. All right. Where is the, where is the main fleet? There it is. And these guys are still in the process of upgrading. Alright. So get them done. We'll sort out what we're going to do with that fleet. And then, you know, continue to work on expanding it. And then we're going to go ahead and... Fight the Commonwealth. Oh, are you guys done? Research stations, please. There we go. Okay. We'll go ahead and end this episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.